Welcome to day 7 of my 30 day challenge where I aim to build and design a Christmas slash winter island in just 30 days. I can't use Nintendo Online or the DLC, but I am allowed to time travel and we have some goals. Well, here we are on a typical day. Absolutely nothing different or suspicious at all. Well, let me just tell you, updating your game is always a good idea, guys. As you can see, I also tried my hands on a flag. And it looks like Bo made it. But that is okay for now. So I'm just making my usual rounds. And it looks like Pierce is home. So let's check out his interior. Ah, cool, blue and sporty. Uh, what about that gothic mirror? That doesn't fit in at all. Kinda looks like a haunted item. Maybe he did some unethical things to gain more muscles. Let's check out Humphrey's home as well. Wow, I like his interior. Really cool. But I don't like the wallpapers that hide the windows completely. I would use that as an accent wall and then just have a basic color one for the rest. So you can still see the windows. And while walking around we found another lost item. I think we have found around 4 items so far. And I still can't investigate them. At least the first villager you ask points you in the right direction. In New Leaf you would just have to ask around until you found the one the item belongs to. That was rather tedious. Oh, Pierce has a visitor. Alice. Alice, stay away from that haunted mirror. I don't trust it. The item itself looks cool, it is just weird compared to his other items. Today I also want to go and see Captain's Island, since Isabel announced him in her broadcast today. And Gulliver. I have been completely ignoring him. Some of his gifts would fit, like the Nutcracker for example, but I don't think it is worth the effort right now. So, as I said, let's check out the Captain's Island. When I first started playing, I thought I would listen to Captain's song every time. Use it as a little break and just enjoy his singing. But I think it just took a few songs for me to get impatient and start to skip the songs altogether. Kinda sad, I should stop skipping them. Oh, the island doesn't look all that interesting, but let's see what we can take with us. Wooden table. That is actually a great DIY. Awesome. So I might as well get some resources and a fossil. Ah, it's a gyroid fragment. I wasn't sure if you need Brewster for the gyroids. That will be great for decorating and I love that you can customize the gyroids and their colors. So let's get back. I want to plant that gyroid and water it. When you see that cloud or steam coming out of it, you can just leave it alone for a day. I think it's just a day. I haven't buried gyroids in so long, because I already have all of them on my other island, so it kind of lost its appeal for me. Well, until now. It's also time to clean up the island as best as I can. Since storage is still limited to 120, we have to be nifty about it. So let's try to hang most of the clothes on the walls inside and let's sell all of the bugs. I do want to exhibit some animals near the museum tent, but since Blathers hates bugs, I want to respect his wishes. So there will be no bugs displayed, at least for now. I time traveled a day to move a villager home and we got a campsite villager. I don't have high hopes, but let's check anyway. Oh, another deer and a blue one. Bruce. I don't think I've ever seen him before. And I think he would actually fit right in to North Pole. I don't know if I can kick out any of the villagers if we don't have 10 plots put down yet. But let's try. Okay, this took forever just to have him agree to move in and it seems like I have to put down a new plot. But I am okay with that since he fits right in, I don't want to miss the opportunity to get another villager. Initially I was hoping that we could just try until he suggests that Cherry moves out, but that's okay. So let's get another plot to put down. And now that the plot is placed, let's time travel a day. Ooh, Kix is visiting for the first time. Might as well get some bags and slippers. I'm also getting a poncho to move off the beach and into the Christmas town section. Right now there is a lot of moving houses and time traveling going on. Because you can only move one house a day, 
I heard that back when the game came out, it was like 50k bells to move a single house. Did any of you experience that? Outrageous. Good thing they lowered that down to 10k bells. Isabel is here for just a few days and already sleeping on the job. Maybe Tom Nook bored her with his stories about golf and raccoon stuff. Because of all the time traveling, we are also a bit richer, since a lot of the money trees came in. So I thought about it and while I was mapping out the Christmas town in my head, I thought that the hedge fence would look really nice there with snow on top of it. And as far as I can remember, you get that from Leaf when you buy a lot or you sell some weeds to him. I don't know exactly anymore how you do it. But let's go get Leaf. Not just for that DIY, but I also want to get all of the vegetables so we can unlock cooking later on. So why not? Let's take a trip to Harv's Island to unlock Leaf. Uh, I didn't think we would get the first stage of Harv's Island. I love that clothes drying rack. I wish we could use that in the game, hanging his rugs or towels to dry. So cute. Ah yes, the photo studio. I remember the first time I played I just wasn't interested at all in the photo studio. I did not know that you had to actually use it at least once in order to unlock the next stage of Harz Island. I remember googling that and not finding anything to solve my issue. Just tips to reach 3 stars, which I already had. So it took me forever to finally realize that you had to use it to get to that second stage and unlock the shops. Okay, all coming together, let's take a group photo. Well, usually the short ones would stand in the front, but oh well, I don't think it matters. So now that that is done, let's go back to North Pole. I think you have to wait a day until the shops are unlockable. Wow, we got a phone call already. Ah, oh, Harf is just talking about the posters. Speaking of it, let's take a look at the posters. Alice, cute, Bo, how adorable. I love the nature background and him looking all shy and cute. Wow, well Bruce looks like a badass, excuse my language. But look at him with his arms crossed, sunset in the background. The look in his eyes says, don't mess with me. Ah, Cherry, spooky girl. I love her pose and the background with the skull wallpaper. She does look like she's up to something. Emfrey, yes, look at him. He looks so evil, like an evil mastermind. I love it. Oh, I love Humphrey. I don't know if I can let him go, guys. I'm still going with the Grinch argument here, and I just love him. But the background does seem kind of random. Orange camouflage. Okay. Oh, Nibbles. She's so adorable. Oh my, look at her. Her little teeth. She is just perfect as a peppy villager. Wow, what's up with Pierce? Is he cosplaying Mr. Darcy? Pierce took picture day very seriously. He has some stairs in the background. Like he is just casually coming down the stairs in his fancy outfit. Well, I applaud you for the effort, Mr. Pierce. Poncho. I knew what his poster looks like since I had him on my other island, but yes, it is very cute. Although I have never seen him actually wearing that shirt. Mm. Walker. You cheeky little dog. Very cute. Ah, gotta stop getting so attached. This will not end well. On a random note, I am so happy that we are not focusing on the villager personalities. It doesn't matter if we have five lazies or if we are missing any type. That is super refreshing for me because I do stress myself out a lot on my forever island. We're finding the perfect fit for every personality type. So now we can time travel again for Leaf. I have no idea how I had the patience to just not time travel at all when I got the game first. Well, it is nice to have something to look forward to instead of just speedrunning it. Okay, we got a letter from Harvey. Awesome. Look how he signs his name. Who calls him Vey? Hmm. Looks like he is trying very hard to make those nicknames stick. And we also got a letter from Cherry. Friends forever. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. I should focus on getting leave, but let's take a walk around the island. I'm still looking for giant clams, not for the shell fountain this time, I have two of them by now, but I also want to make some shell lamps for decoration. And let's see who is crafting, because there is a chance to get a Christmas DIY and I still need a ton of them. Yes, Nibbles has an ornament one, nice. I hope we get a giant ornament soon. And there is a log pack DIY. Yes, let's make that. I think that would work better than my snowflake handbag. 
Yes, it looks awesome. Like I've been out gathering branches for the fireplace. Very nice. And as you can see, I'm not wearing my custom design anymore. But I just love that holiday sweater. I think it fits very well with the rest of my outfit. Fun fact, I am still wearing my starter pants. Now let's get to Harvey. There is just so much to do, I am constantly distracted because I don't want to forget anything. That is probably why I am so slow. I hope the video is not too chaotic. So when you see that rainbow thing, you know it's getting serious. And Wilbur has some special dialogue as well. How nice. Let's talk to Harvey and Harriet and let's pay that Lloyd with the mustache to get leave here. The botanical expert. Fancy title. But what are Leaf's credentials? I need some official documents here. Just 100k, that's cheaper than I thought. Hmm. I might unlock Cyrus as well if it's that affordable. So now, one more time travel and we will have access to Leaf all the time. But before that, I got of course distracted and decided to work on the Christmas town. Moving trees and laying down a path. While doing that, I have been watching another Christmas movie called Christmas with the Cranks from the year 2004. It's about a family, more about the parents that decide to not celebrate Christmas at all this year and just to go to a tropical cruise instead since their daughter won't be home anyhow. But last minute the daughter announces that she will be home and is excited to experience Christmas with them and her new boyfriend. So the question is, can the parents pull off a spontaneous Christmas or not? That movie was so stressful somehow. I think I watched it a few years ago for the first time and I really liked it then. Now I think there was a lot of unnecessary stress. The end was okay, but I don't know if I would watch it again, to be honest. Interesting how an opinion can change after just a few years. I think I will keep my house that small. Look how well it fits right into the town, just like another villager home. Humphrey even has a bigger house than I do. Way to go, Humphrey. He is probably saving a bunch of bells since he is not indulging in the Christmas decorations. I also want to get door decorations for everyone, but different ones. I think that would give it a nice touch and make it more cozy. Let's take a short break and check out Bruce's interior for the first time. Wow, he has got cool stuff. And a garbage can. Awesome. I've been waiting for a garbage can for forever. We still don't have one yet. Good to know that at least he has one. That is annoying because I have to sell all of my extra trees and flowers and so on instead of just throwing them away. So I'm working on the paths. I think it will all come together nicely. I don't know how much space there is for every house, but I will still be able to decorate at least a small area for each house. Good thing that we didn't place the last plot yet, so I can still change the outline of the house to accommodate the stone path. I also have to quickly check out Abel's sisters and talk to Sable, of course. I already gave a winter sweater to Walker, but he's not wearing it, so let's give him another one. Forcing winter outfits onto my poor villagers. You better wear it if you want to stay on North Pole. No pressure. It is so nice to see all of that dialogue with Sable again. How can you not love Sable? I actually had a poll a while back which Abel sister you liked the most and Sable was of course the winner. Good choice guys. So let's time travel to finally meet Leaf. Ah, we can also get a fresh haircut from Harriet. I can't remember which ones you get from her, so that is exciting. But first leave. Okay, let's sell some weeds. Mm, I thought you get the DIY after that. Let's buy some vegetables then. Mm, still no DIY. Okay, a quick Google search is no help here. I remember getting this DIY super fast from Leaf when I started my island in the month of August. That is quite disappointing since getting the hedge DIY was my main motivation to get leave. Well, that is a bummer. Maybe we just have to buy more and be more consistent. Let's check Harriet now. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, kinda looks like a wolf cut. The bangs are a little weird, but I think I want my old hair back. I'm not the biggest fan of bangs, but the great thing is that you can get away with not having eyebrows. I have to make some eyebrows, but another time. This summarizes day 7 of North Pole. If you would like to follow my journey, feel free to subscribe and come back tomorrow for the next day. I appreciate you for being here. Let me know which shops I should activate at Harv's Island and which ones are your favorites. Next episode I will work more in the Christmas town. Let me know if you have any ideas what I should include. Thank you so much for watching and see you all tomorrow.